Hi, welcome back to Mountain Adventures. In this week's episode, we're going to look at how we built this bench seat. So, let's jump right in. I've just cut four pieces to start building the bench seat. So I've just clamped some in place. So just now I'm going to go round one side at a time, make sure everything's nice and square, and attach it all together. Just knock together another one of those frames. So now we've got the front and the back. We need some cross beams that will connect them together and then it should start resembling a bench seat. The bench seat is roughly coming together. So we've got a band clamp around the base and then we've got a clamp clamp situation to hold the top in. Clamp clamp. We've got the long back piece Kind of the carcass for it built here so that will sit along that back wall and we've we've attempted to square it off our timber is really not square as you can see um so it's been a bit of an interesting challenge but between clamps and band clamps and multiple set squares we think we've got it roughly roughly square looking good enough i'm going to add a few more support legs up here but only once we know exactly where the batteries and stuff come to later and then a good way to check if a rectangle is square is measure diagonal to diagonal so that one is one one nine and a half and if it matches the opposite diagonal and ours this one is one one nine point six which we're, we're calling good enough we're calling that good enough because if the two diagonals are the same it means everything is squared off to each other and so far, it's going kind of to plan. Roughly speaking, yeah. Good enough. Good right, enough. we're going to pack up because it's gone six o'clock. That's it. And it's threatening to rain. It's gone six. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The way we've built this is we've got an outer frame and an inner frame. So you can see this inner frame here. And the reason we've done that is because we want this inner frame bit to effectively be like a lid that we can lift up um, to access storage underneath the bench seat. So what we'll do is we'll put hinges on one of these sides so we can lift it up and put it down easily. And what we've done is routed a couple of grooves into these long sides. And what they will do is they will support our horizontal slats, which will be what we put the cushions on, what we sit on. Um, and they should sit nice and snugly in there. So we're getting there. Okay, so we've got the slats here. We've just primed them just so they don't warp or anything. With a bit of math, we've worked out we want 5.6 from here to here and then 5.6 between each slat. So now we'll just get them all screwed in and drilled in. First half done, hopefully fairly evenly spaced. So now we just need to do this side. So yeah, next thing is attach it with a hinge and then it will lift up. And that should work out well. Now the plan for this is to have an L-shaped bench seat. So right now we're just going to knock together another frame which will serve as the shorter side of that L-shape. We're about to start installing our bench seat. You can see we've already drilled a couple of holes um, pilot holes, what we've also done um, underneath here is we've just been down and enlarged those holes underneath so that hopefully our floating laminate floor should still have space to shift because you're not really meant to fix it down. Bench seat's in. Obviously it's not fully finished, we need to front it and everything. First piece of furniture is in, feels good. Yeah, making some progress now. We're going to have power sockets in our bench seat, so before we can finish fronting it, we need to drill the holes for those sockets. And after that, we'll give it a quick lick of paint to finish it off nicely.
Alex is measuring up for the final piece of the bench seat because the only thing we've got left to do is make this cupboard door. Right, what I've got here is one of the handles that we're going to be using on most of our low level furniture cupboards. Um, they're nice and flush fitting so we're not going to kick ourselves kick ourselves they're nice and flush fitting so we're not going to kick them or kind of hurt ourselves on them you can see i've already got one back on that cupboard door there and the way we're attaching these is we're actually just sick of flexing them on um, they did come with bolts but these bolts are either way too big or way too short for our doors so rather than buy new bolts we've got sick of flex that's how we're going to do it seems to be working pretty well okay i'm attaching some roller catchers to the cupboard on our bench seat um, this is hopefully going to be the main way we stop them from flying open when we're driving. Um, so I've got that one on there. And then I've closed this door, like so. Lent all the way over the top and through here. And marked roughly where that meets. And then now, the plan is to attach the second half, this piece, onto here. And then we should hopefully have a door that closes and it stays closed. In next week's video, we set ourselves a bit of a building challenge. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification icon to join us then. That's about it for this week. We've really enjoyed making this bench seat and we're really happy with how it turned out. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, I inhaled some of my hair, that was unpleasant. <laughs>